In this video, I'll show you how to make custom presets for your Affinity workspace. By using these presets, you'll be able to have the perfect workspace for whatever project you're working on. Currently, our workspace has the default panels out, but I prefer a minimalist workspace. So I'm going to begin by removing all of the panels that I don't need. Now that my workspace is all cleaned up, I want to save this as a studio preset. To do this, come to View, Studio Presets, Add Preset. I'll call this my Simple Workspace. But let's say as I work on a photo, I move around my panels and I eventually want to put my workspace back to the way it was. Fortunately, this is very easy to do. I'll just come to View, Studio Presets, and then I can apply my simple workspace preset. And just like that, my workspace is back to normal. Okay. Now that we know how studio presets work, the real magic can begin. Yes, I normally like to work with this minimalist workspace, but it's not always the perfect layout. For example, it's missing the library and macro panels, which are very important for when I'm creating macros. To add these panels, we'll come back to the view menu and then come down to studio. From here, I can add the panels that I need. Perfect! This is exactly what I want my workspace to look like when I'm making macros. Now I just need to save this layout as a preset. Now I can come to the Studio Presets menu and easily apply either of my workspaces depending on what I'm working on. We can also manage our Studio Presets. From here, we can rename or delete any of our presets. Okay, now I have my two last tips to share with you. First, if you ever really mess up your workspace and aren't sure how to fix it, you can easily reset everything by going to View, Studio, Reset Studio. And for tip number two, I'll show you how to make a keyboard shortcut for your studio presets. First, open your Affinity Preferences. And as a quick note for Windows users, your preferences can be found at the bottom of the Edit menu. From here, open the Keyboard Shortcuts. Now, since we want to make a shortcut for a button that's found under the View menu, we will need to change our shortcut list from the Affinity Photo menu to the View menu. Now, if you come down to the bottom of this list, you'll see an option for Studio Presets, Manage Studio Presets. Go ahead and give this button any shortcut you want. I'll make mine Command-Shift-M. Then we can close out of this box. Now, whenever we want to change our workspace, we can use our keyboard shortcut to open all of our Studio Presets. From here, just select a preset, and then press Load. Then you can close this box and quickly get back to editing with your perfect workspace ready to go. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial. If you want to learn our Affinity workflow, then check out the free course below.